Welcome everybody to a bonus episode of That's a Wrap. We really just had to make we this. Had to. We, we had, had to. to make this special video to. because the latest Suicide Squad trailer was just released. You've seen me give some of my brief thoughts on that. I've made a video on it. But today what we're going to be doing is have a full-on discussion on the Suicide Squad trailer, of course, with my co-host. I'm your host, Aaron. You may know me as Caboose XBL. I'm with my co-host here, Ender. Uh, so we're going to talk about the Suicide Squad trailer because... I cannot get enough of it. It is just so amazing. Isn't it amazing what trailers do? I know. Isn't it it's amazing just so how crazy. just a two minute clip can get you so freaking pumped for a movie? I know. It's amazing. And TV spots. Isn't I know. it just I know. amazing I just... what trailers do? Um, it, it was great. So yeah. It, it really was. So this trailer premiered last night during a DC special event that premiered on the CW known as the Dawn of the Justice League. And this trailer was just bananas i mean everything going on in this trailer from the tone to the characters it's just it's insane it's just complete insanity and a lot of that is a testament to the music used in this yes. bohemian rhapsody by queen one of the most well-known songs in the history of the world you know me i'm and always nitpicky with the music yeah i always noticed that because it you know it can make or break yeah. a trailer and they picked the perfect song for this oh my goodness did they ever it's the fun so factor fun. went through the roof yeah seriously roof. it was so it's such a fun trailer to watch the fun and just you can just see just the enjoyment in each actor's eyes that they get to be involved in this film it's just so cool. What are your What are some of the things you took away from this? Trailer? I thought it was great. Um, the uh, some of the actors all said a few more lines. Even just 10, 15 more lines out of them shows them in that character. Yeah. Harley Quinn talked a lot more in this, yeah. showing yeah. that you know Margot Robbie's obviously going to do a great job. Um, I am so happy that Will Smith is in this. Movie. Yeah. I really am. He is. You know, I love he's him. He's an A-lister. He, he's an big A-lister. Big A-lister. They got. He is going to carry this movie. Yeah. Really. I mean, I, we're going to see how you know how Jared Leto what he's going to play in it, but Will Smith is going to carry this from beginning to end he, he he's gonna be kind of the ultimate he's a bad guy but we know we love Will Smith yeah, as a hero. Yeah, 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 yeah. we love him as a hero um, but I think that's why it's such a good dynamic because we're gonna finally see maybe like a bad side to what this character is I mean Deadshot in the comics he's never really just a bad person yeah. Deadshot's overall thing is he just gets such an enjoyment out of beating the hell out of bad people yeah. you know so like seeing Will Smith in this role is just so freaking cool, yeah. and to see the costume, the mask looks so oh, awesome, yeah. and everything. I'm just so excited. To that's see a, Will Smith. that's a great point you made. Sometimes we don't talk about the costumes enough. Bang on, the yeah. costumes are incredible, and they don't look too futuristic, mm, not armorish. Yeah. They the costumes look great. Not even that, but like just the the diversity in the cast yeah. with a freaking crocodile yeah. to a guy that's good with ropes to someone who controls fire, yeah. and then you have Deadshot, this guy who has impeccable aim. And then there's just Harley Quinn, who's just insane, yeah, you know? Just insane, it's, yeah. It's such it's a, a real cool. mix of characters. Yeah, yeah it's such sure. a band of misfits, yeah. and I love it. Yeah. I love the idea of this film. I'm so glad that DC took the leap with this one. You know, it, it's just, it's a great risk to take. And from what I'm seeing online, people are going absolutely crazy about this trailer. They're loving what they've seen from this movie, myself included. Being a huge DC fan, of course, I'm sitting on the DC <laughs> side, you know? I just, I, I can't get enough I, of this I trailer. I can't nitpick too much out of this trailer. The only thing I can really say is, um, uh, you know, they just, with the Joker being seen in a lot of scenes, and I'm glad I did because I'm really liking the new look of him. Yeah. Um, once again, I just, I, I love that anticipation factor. I know there's some people that we watch that don't watch any trailers at all when they go watch mm -hmm. the movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they do that. I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't do that. I don't have the patience. But could you imagine that you just, how we saw Joker in that first trailer, he, it was, he was really menacing. Yeah. And this one, he still looked menacing, still looked great, but just not as menacing as I saw him you know, in that first trailer. But I understand. They've got to show him in the trailer, and we've got to expect it. I think the thing is, with the first trailer, we kind of get that first glimpse, that first introduction, and there's no other way to introduce the Joker Absolutely. than to show that yeah. he you is are the right. craziest, most insane right. villain. But in this trailer, it was like, look at the world that he's a part of right now. Look at the things that are going on around him. Yeah. And just how much that is like funny to him. You know, it's just the, the laughter and the smile. The teeth look so messed up. The only thing that I'm still not sold on is the damage tattoo on the forehead. All the other tattoos and stuff I really don't care about. They're cool and all that. But overall... I'm, I'm digging the new do. And I mean, I, I love it when I see some of the scenes on the roads and stuff. Yeah. Like, tape right yeah. here in, in Toronto. In, in Toronto in yeah. our hometown. Like, I'm like, I just walked down that street. Yeah, the, the scene in the stuff. trailer of the Joker car driving down the street. That's probably uh, Young Street in Toronto. Yeah. Famously long, known long, as... One of the longest cities in the fa world. Famous long, known, long, long, longest streets yeah. in the world. Yeah. Famously <laughs> known as one of the longest streets in yeah. the world. So it's really cool to see that this film was filmed in Toronto. That's like such an awesome, you know, sentimental value to us. But overall, all the characters, 
Jared Leto's the Joker just looks insane. I love the, the neon green hair. And let's talk about Harley Quinn. Yeah. She had a little more presence in this trailer than she did in the original one. And the way she speaks, she obviously doesn't speak like she would, you know, from the cartoons yeah. or anything. Yeah. But I don't really mind that. You know, I, I don't think that she it, needed to. But... It's still a great actress that they've got to play this yeah. role. The first kind of time that we're seeing her on the big screen. I'm glad they got Margot Robbie. She's hot in Hollywood and of course, right now. And so. she's hot in another aspect too. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Especially exactly. they, they exactly. like to showcase that in the end of the trailer. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, Harley Quinn was great in this trailer. We see a shot of the origin. Yeah. You know, that Joker does indeed push her in the chemicals. A new 52 style origin for the character, which is going to be exciting to see. And the exciting thing that me and you were talking about was the what's going to happen with the concept of Harley Quinn, maybe hooking up with Joker, and then leading to something even bigger down the road. Yeah, yeah, apparently, I mean, universe. we've been kind of speculating, like, um, you know, what, what could happen throughout this film, and the one thing that we mentioned is that, you know, she's going to be with the Suicide Squad, but Harley Quinn's loyal to the Joker, yes. and we're probably going to get a moment like that within this film. One way or another, she's probably going to turn on the Suicide Squad, you know, work for the Joker, be like a double agent kind of thing, you know, whatever it may be. But overall, this film just looks fantastic. And there's one thing that I need to mention, because it's pissing me off. A lot of people are comparing this to Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't understand how you can compare this film to Guardians of the Galaxy besides the fact that it's a band of misfits. Yeah. That's it. That's literally the only This is I've not seen. the Guardians team. This is not an Avengers team. Yeah. It is not. This is, this is <laughs> a is very yeah. different team. Something different that we will team. never see yeah. in like comic book movies. Yeah. To see a bunch of villains They're going to be great together. in their way. Guardians was great in their yeah. way. Yeah. And yeah. one thing to think of too when you see this film, when you see Killer Croc and you see like El Diablo with the flames and, and Harley Quinn and Joker is somewhere within this same universe there's Henry Cavill's Superman, there's Ben Affleck's Batman, and they all coexist together. Stuff like that always gets it's me so, so excited. Awesome. Stuff like so that cool. always, and I mean, we've talked about this time and time again, and that's a wrap, is the realm of possibility. Yeah. That's what these movies do for us, that's what they get us talking about. That's one of my favorite things about yeah. these movies. No, absolutely. I mean, I am so excited to think that somewhere down the road when we get a Batman solo film, Jared Leto's Joker and Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn could show up in it. And just, you know, like, and we do have Batman showing up in Suicide Squad. We saw that in the first trailer. Absolutely. I'm glad we didn't get more looks at that in this trailer. I hope they hold that off so we can yeah. kind of see that whole thing play out Absolutely. in the movie. But overall, I mean, what else can I say about this movie? It just looks fantastic. We can't wait to see your comments, what everybody thought about it as well. Yeah. And like I said, I read all the comments all the time. We can't wait to see what everybody thinks. Absolutely. So with that said, that is our discussion and thoughts on the Suicide Squad trailer. But the most important thing is what you guys think of the Suicide Squad trailer. So I want to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. I'm your host, Aaron. You know me as Caboose XBL. This is my co-host, Ender. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. That's a wrap.